Colonial Stadium. Good fiery spell. It's going to be gone from the members' end. Oh, he's knocked him over. What a ripper. What a good piece of bowling. 151.1. A wicked maiden. Superb fast bowling. And a big breakthrough. Talked about in swing. Don't worry about the old ball, I can do it with the new one too. Not only with good pace, 151 k's, it swings in and it's right on the mark of middle and off. Ricky Ponting looking to play his favourite shot without the footwork we've been talking about. Tough job. Joe Bakhtar, magnificent for his captain. Ponting gone for 14, 2 for 44. Oh, and he's bowled him. Leg stump. Darren Lehman does have a habit, particularly early in his innings, of getting a long way across. I think Show of Akhtar has noted that. The first one was aimed at leg stump. The first ball, whenever you come in as a batsman, you've got to be sharp. Those first balls are always the most dangerous for a batsman. And unfortunately, Darren Lehman hasn't got past the first one. Just walked across his stumps and Show of Akhtar right on target again. Tremendous bowling. Oh, what a delivery! Boy, absolutely comprehensively bowled out for the second time in the test match. Oh, <laughs> you can't get that too far. Well bowled. Yes, no wonder he's thrilled to bits with that. It is top class fast bowling. $20,000 per club this year. Whoa, that's a bit of serious pace. Just finish off on that, Chase. The batsmen are going to be going hard, and the wild thing is in. Second ball into the pads of Imran Farat. Almost 160. That is unbelievable slats. That's express. 159 clicks. Oh, mate, hold on to your seat to say, I reckon we're about to see the quickest ball ever. Ball three. Oh. Play a miss. The eyes go straight up to the screen, and the crowd love it. It's 100 miles an hour. A, a cricket ball does not get bowled faster than that. Today, Walker gaining preference there, a sensible move from Chapel after Thompson's problems yesterday with the swing. It's always been a school of thought that he's a better bowler after a couple of overs have been bold so that he doesn't have to use the slippery ball certainly when he bowled from the same end yesterday bowled with great fire and imposed many problems for the England batsman Dennis it's exactly the same field for Jeff Thompson as the one used by Lilly no man at third man or at fine leg. Walker has come up to position at uh, wide leg slip. Oh, what a good delivery. A little bit slower and it looked to me as though he deliberately bowled a quickish off break. Certainly a slower ball. Mike Dines out for eight, bowled by Jeff Thompson. And I fear that that may be Mike Dines's last innings as captain of England. 18 for two as Dines leaves the field. And here's how it happened. I'm sure that was a slower delivery from Thompson, cutting the fingers under the ball. It just got through the gap. It might even have flicked the outside of the pad. That's worth a shout. He's going to be safe, but it's... or is he? No, he's not. That's a brilliant take. Maxwell, he has run a million miles. And Andre Russell, to me, has played it 
so wrongly in the end. Viv Richards didn't play in the draw at Lords, but Andy Roberts returned a bag of ten, and the first of those was Barry Wood. And that's out, Barry Wood on his way, trying to pull his bat out of the way, couldn't manage it. Barry Wood misses out again here in a test match. He's out for six, Andy Roberts strikes the first blow for West Indies, and England lose their first wicket with a score on 15. That is great concentration. A good slower ball, and he must be out. That's good bowling from Roberts. A lovely slower ball, and Steele was beaten on the backstroke. And he's bowled him, beaten there by a little bit of extra pace. And Roberts strikes again for West Indies. Mike Fairley, who'd held out all this time for his 40 runs. Beautiful piece of bowling again by Roberts. Collects his third wicket, really out for 40. And the England score on 115 for three. Sammy, couple of short ones, then the fuller one. Good healthy edge, and this time Isle hangs on. Oh dear, it's a short stay for Philip Hughes. It was uh, a lucky opportunity. Cadage out injured, he comes in and was trying very hard to get going. He missed the first scoring opportunity, was dropped. Oh, I think around about 145 Ks, and he's got a bit of swing happening. It's up in the air, there's two men out. He's got him. Ponny's gone for a duck. It's the trap. Umar Ghouls, the fieldsman. Somebody's bowled the right ball, and Ponning's found him. Ooh, the most unusual shot you'll ever see. Almost like he wasn't switched on, wasn't concentrating on that first ball. He got himself into some sort of awkward position. I don't know how the So Ricky Ponning doesn't even bother to look at the umpire. He's on his way, and Shane Bond continues his good form with the ball. The Australian's looking to do damage when the ball is new. Possibly not patient enough. Ricky Ponning, a big, flashy cover drive. The ball left out, way outside off for him to play that shot. Outside edge, Perore. Bond gets his 11th wicket for the series. Ponting is now gone. Damien Martin in, in the second over. It's two for eight. And this time he's caught it. That was a much tougher one. Well, it was travelling a lot quicker. But that one hit in the middle of the hands. The first one just hit in the left hand. He didn't get it in the middle of the mitts. He did on this occasion. Don't give good players practice runs. Damien Martin 
the plan has worked. They've dragged the shot that they were looking for and they've grabbed.